wanted to just uh, share a few uh, items that sold and give you a few updates. Um, I was a little disappointed in my humidor. It, it sold for I think $12.99. Hey, I paid a dollar for it. I just figured I'd get a lot more, but hey, $12 from 99 cents or a dollar is what I paid for it. On my marbles, I've started selling marbles. First little handful sold for $17. I've got a ton more to sell. Uh, doing very well with those. On uh, the little Kiwanis 20, uh, 24, 14 karat gold Kiwanis pen, uh, it sold for $26, I believe. Uh, everything, all the pins and watches that were all in that one little box that I paid seven dollars and fifty cents for, hey, already making profit on it. Uh, these are some stamps that I actually found in one of the tables of the the Coca-Cola and NASCAR stuff. It was just stuffed in there. There's a bunch of um, uh, stamps from about 1993, 94, that sort of thing. I mean, there's some. Uh, the uh, the booklets that weren't even opened, um, those just sold for I believe twenty twenty yeah twenty one dollars. So wasn't even expecting those. Good profit on that. Hey, I've got some. Uh, I did get out to a garage sale or two, and uh, also keeping my head on a swivel. I got to show you a couple of things that I've gotten. All right. Here are a few of my pickups from uh, this weekend. I was just riding on my way to the in-laws house and uh, this lady had opened up a new little, uh, just basically a little junk shop. That's a Zeth Thomas uh, electric wall clock. Uh, of course, they're out of business now. Paid one dollar for it in great working condition. The time on there is exactly what time it is right now. Hey, um, picked up at a garage sale. This um, <coughs> I don't know if you can tell how big that thing is. It's huge and heavy. Just a, a brass duck uh, planter, I guess, or swan planter. Uh, solid. That thing is heavy as all get out. I paid $2 for it. I figured the brass is worth that. Hey, um, got these knives all for $2. I don't know. I'll probably sell these at the auction. They do real well at our auction here, especially these, uh, what I think, mag they're Magnolite knives, I think. I don't know. Anyway, they, they do real well at auction. Uh, keeping my head on a swivel, I was uh, on my way to get a, a sticker on my car this weekend, and there was a uh, some ladies and uh, this little family out in a parking lot selling all their toys. I think they wanted to go on a, a trip somewhere and this summer, and the little boy was selling all his uh, Wii games, and uh, they were asking three dollars a piece. There are fourteen Wii games in here. Uh, like I say, they were asking three dollars a piece. And I, I said, uh, "What would you take for all of them?" And uh, the lady's like thirty dollars. She well, she got on her calculator. I think she she probably was figuring two dollars a piece, and she had come up with twenty eight and decided to ask for thirty. And I said, "Well, uh, would you take twenty five dollars?" She's like, "Yeah." Okay, twenty-five dollars, fourteen Wii games, all good games. There are only a couple of them I think that sell for maybe four or five dollars. The rest of them are at least up around uh, ten dollars a piece. Uh, there's a Cars Wii game that one does well. On some other items I picked up at auction, I paid uh, a couple dollars for this uh, old trailer metal trailer toy full of old matches. Uh, we'll see. I don't, I don't know much about ma old matches. Um, then I picked up this entire lot right here. I paid uh, nine dollars for all these at auction. Uh, this sells for about twenty something dollars. I forget what it's called, but it's a remote control bug made by Hasbro. Um, I don't know how well my my Buzz Lightyear is going to do, but. Uh, Anyway, picked him up. He's part of this $9 lot. However, I'm excited about these laser tags, man. These things go go real well. Um, a little old uh, plug-in uh, games thing. All works. All does well. Also, on the Lego front, I found some Legos at auction. Woo! -hoo! I paid a couple dollars 
for both these boxes full of Legos and Bionicles. Um, some of these are uh, Star Wars. There's some Star Wars stuff. Look at this. Fantastic Four Bionicles. Um, but there's all kind of Legos down in here. And like I say, they are the Legos that are in here are from the Star Wars. Also have some Transformers. There are about four of these Transformers. I wish I knew how to take them and move them around. A couple of them actually connect to other ones. Uh, there's uh, some more of the uh, the Legos. But paid a couple dollars for all of these. There's another Transformer. There's another Transformer. I think there's one of these. The cell phone transformer. That thing's cool. Uh, anyway, I got me some Legos. I'm excited to see what we're going to do. Those are some of my pickups for this uh, this weekend. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you. I did pick up four John Deere cups. Coffee cups. Uh, getting in the coffee cup business. Of course, I use them quite often for coffee myself. So, 